Cafe Guam, Guahusi Colleen Nicholas Perez, and the Deputy Public Affairs Officer for Joint Region Marianas. And welcome to a very special edition of Island Images. Mrs. Irene Scambalori was only a child when the Japanese occupied Guam during World War II. She shares her story with us. December 8, 1941, my father, John F. Bloke, first class pharmacist mate in the U.S. Navy. One morning, we were having breakfast and we heard sounds of planes flying over Guam and they were dropping black objects. We didn't know what, what were the planes there for. Minutes later, my grandfather, Atanasio Titano Paris, called us and said he's going to send help to, for us to be, to be transported to his home in a, in a Kutnia. So when the car came, all we did was we only took a few items, a few clothing and documents, and we went to Aganya at my grandfather's house. Then when we came to Aganya, we, we said that we, we cannot stay in the city. So we were frankly looking for, so, uh, for shelter. So, my, so we found shelter at my grandmother's brother's house, a ranch in Adeco Barricada, owned by Gigorio Duenas. So when we got there, my father ran and hid in the jungle. So we stayed there at the ranch. Then days later, I. Japanese interpreter and two Japanese soldiers came to the ranch and told my mother that my father had to surrender. So my mother called me and said, Irene, go look for your father in the jungle. So I went and I looked for him and I found him. And I said, I told him about what they asked for, the Japanese. So he took off his shirt and he tied it to a stick and he held my hand and we both walked out. So one day, my mother and, and the family went to the POW at the cathedral camp, and we were looking for my father, but there, the building was empty. So this, we found this interpreter, and he said, there's no one here because they ship everyone out to Japan. We never saw, nobody ever told us that my father's gonna be taken to Japan. That was the last day. We never said goodbye. Never did. Then the Japanese invaded the island and we were forced to go to, uh, my sister and my brother was forced to attend Japanese school to learn to read and write in Japanese. At that time, we had three, four Guamanian and one Japanese teacher. And the Japanese teacher was very strict. The Japanese teacher would send us, my brother, my sister and myself, to go to the jungle and pick wild papayas, wild mushrooms, cook, cook it, and after it's done, we carry it and we give it to the Japanese teacher at his home. Then when the telephone rang, my grandfather called us and he said war has been declared from the Americans and Japanese are, are at war. The rumor spread that the Japanese are going to start killing the people in the camp. We were so afraid. But by the, possibly maybe by the time they didn't come to kill us, American soldiers came out from the jungle and killed the guards and told the people to follow them. So we followed the American soldiers up to Mount Tengo. When we were there, here comes the military trucks, American military trucks, and transported the Comenians and my family down to a staging area in Hakaknya at the Pigo Cemetery. When we were there, the Americans fed us and sheltered us.
In 1945, the boss Japanese surrendered, and they brought my father home. My father looked so pale and skinny, he lost a lot of weight. And we were crying, we didn't even want to go near him, we were afraid. And then later on, my mom said, this is your dad, he's back with us, he's home now. That's when we went home, we started hugging and kissing him, that he's back home with his family. For me and for many survivors of the war, the memories are painful. We lost family, homes, and the life we knew. War is not kind, but all, although there were many wrongdoings that were done, there were also many kind acts by the local people, the Americans, and the Japanese. Many survivors have moved on, forgiving and found peace with our fellow people. It was 68 years ago when thousands of Marines stormed SM Beach with one mission and that was to liberate Guam. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for more island images. Thank you.